Thanks for being with us tonight. The volunteer search for a missing teenager from Reedsville is suspended. 17 year old Jevin Lemke was swept away in a rip current while on vacation in Alabama in March. Tonight, his mother is sharing their story for the first time since returning home. NBC 26's Shane Gustafson has their story. Signs are up across Reedsville. Thoughts and prayers for the family of a missing 17 year old. Honestly, still, I don't believe it. Um, I don't feel I don't feel empty. I don't feel I'm gone yet. Um, but we didn't think that it would take this long. Jevin Lemke was swept away by a rip current. His mom, Carrie Holton, making a difficult decision to come home Wednesday without her son. I walk into my house and he's everywhere. Um, he's everywhere here in town. He was just a staple in the community. Um, everybody knows him um, and everybody who does know him says that he was respectful. Every time we were with him, it was laughs and we never stopped smiling and through all the hard times that he had and not had, we all were there to back each other up. Holton has been in Alabama since her son disappeared, organizing continued search efforts on her own, saying her military experience helps her cope. I was a medic. We prepared ourselves for this. I know what it looks like. I know what the ugliest of death looks like. It doesn't prepare you for anything like this. And now the community continues to support Jevin's family. It's breathtaking. Um, I kind of lost faith in humanity a little bit. And the people of Reedsville and Brilliant and the surrounding areas, as well as everybody down at Dauphin Island, um, they've restored my hope and my faith. She's pushing for more safety along shorelines and never giving up hope that Jevin could come home. Nobody thinks he gave up. We, we know Jevin and he doesn't give up for anything. Miracles happen every day. And until I have some kind of solid proof, um, I'm not going to give up hope. He's a fighter. Reporting in Reedsville, Shane Gustafson, NBC 26. Tonight, there was a fundraiser at the A&W in Reedsville where 10% of sales went directly to the family. Jevin's mother says there will be a celebration of life held in a couple of weeks with a balloon release and where people can share their favorite memories of Jevin. Now, if you'd like to donate to the family for continued search efforts, you'll find a link to their GoFundMe page on our website.